Hey guys, Renee from Bargain Hunter Thrift Store here. We've been filming all day long, so we got a bunch of videos coming out for you guys where we're unboxing more action figures, more toys. We also got an exclusive Hot Wheels video coming for you, so if you collect Hot Wheels, that's going to be really fun. Anyway, you're never going to believe what happened. The guy who sold the shoes on Storage Treasures, he actually responded and contacted me, and we're going to read that in just a second. Um, if you guys want to, we're also going to go look at a couple other auctions that are online on Storage Treasures right now that are non lean sales. We're going to look for some good stuff. And maybe we'll go into my comment section. So I haven't checked it the last few hours because we've been filming all day. And let's see some of the comments there are. And if there's any good questions, we're going to answer the questions right now. But I have to bring up a couple other points really quick first. Um, let's do the sad one first. So I actually had somebody close to me call me an a-hole because I'm not addressing any of the issues on my channel in the world. Guys, this is not a news channel. I don't even believe there is news channels anymore. You got CNN, which is totally left. You got Fox, which is totally right. Everybody's pushing their channel. I think real news doesn't even exist anymore. Um, I, you know, I've been thinking about to say all this, you know. I've seen one of the saddest videos ever, what happened in Minnesota, obviously. Then today I've seen a video where 70, 70 old police officer, an African-American male... Got shot by a teen because the guy was trying to stop him from robbing your TV. You know, and he died there in the video. So it's 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 really sad. Uh, you know, with the pandemic going on, everybody has their opinion. Everybody fights. Everything is so negative right now. It's so crazy. I don't want to get into that. I mean, I'm not smart enough to begin with. I'm not that smart of a person. So, and I don't want to push any issues or anything else like that. It's just let other channels do that. This channel is meant for two things, okay? And I watch everything, trust me. I watch everything in the world and it's like depressing. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I don't even want nobody to comment about the subject. I'm just saying that this one time and I'll say it again. The channel is for two things. Number two, entertainment purposes. So it's fun to go through boxes to see stuff. If you collect things, you go treasure hunting with us. And then the main reason, I've said this a hundred times, the reason we have this channel is because we want to inspire people that are maybe more on the poor side or they don't have that much of an education or they just want to make extra money. I share with you guys my knowledge, what I've been through, how we do things, why we do them. And, you know, I always refer to the 99-1 uh, 99 rule, I believe. So when I watch a lot of videos, if I watch 100% of content and that's 1% of where I learn something new, it's worth it for me. So I try to put up a lot of knowledge, and I hope you guys get that same thing. You at least get 1%. You get a new tip. You learn something. Maybe it makes you think in a different scenario. Maybe something that we sold and you see it somewhere else. But like, oh, yeah, Renee talked about this. I think I can make money here. So that's the point of the channel. Everything else, I'm not smart enough, and there's plenty of channels for no matter what you have used, want to be. You can join it. You can watch it. It's just not that. I, I want people to come with our channel to be happy, to be entertained. And that's what it is. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Then I want to give a big shout out to the Sneakerhead community. So when we did that original video, by the way, if you didn't watch the video yet, uh, go down to the link below. I'll show the original video. I had a lot of Sneakerheads come on. And, you know, they make comments about the shoes. So everybody was pretty much positive. And a lot of them gave extra tips. Hey, by the way, you want to look for this. You want to look for that. So um, this one person told me that almost anything, if it's oh, size over 13, it's usually not fake because they don't fake them over 13, 99% of the time. So that was really interesting. I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, thanks to the sneak hats. Thank you for the support. I know you guys shared the video on some pages and I appreciate you guys giving feedback for that stuff. Another thing, the community, you guys gave a lot of thumbs up, a lot of comments. I like it when you guys are interactive. So, but anyway, let's take a look first. So the person, uh, he replied to me, which I was really surprised. And he put a comment in there and the way he talks about, and he makes reference himself. I mean, I, I believe this is a general reply and we're going to do my instant diet. You guys seen this before. Bam, we have a screen. So, you know what? I don't have a lens tool on this APS, so I'm going to read this to you. But here's the comment. So hopefully, I mean, I only see a mean, many screen. Hopefully in the video, you guys see it really good. The guy's name is Videsh Bidaizi. Bidaizi, I, I don't know. So I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't mess it up on purpose. I really can't read it. Bidaizi, I would say. Videsh Bidaizi. So that's how I would say it. Um, you know, I barely speak English, and that's not an English name, so it's even harder for me. So, Videsh, I'm assuming you're from a different country, based on that name. And it's not offensive, it's just probably not a fair, it's a fair bet. And also, the way you write the message, I'm assuming you're from a different country. You know, I'm an immigrant, I came to America when I was uh, 11 or 12 years old. And the first thing I'm going to say to you, because some of the arguments you make in there, 
I'm a strong believer when you go to a different country, you got to learn the language, you got to learn the rules, you got to follow the law, you got to represent where you come from, your heritage in a most positive manner. And also, I'm assuming you love America just as much as I do. And so you just got to respect certain things, you know, to build the American dream. So just something to think about. So we're going to read this and I'm going to respond to it, but it's, some of it is really hard. So we'll just, you guys have to work with me, but we're doing this all natural in real time life. So. At 2.11, you literally say that it's a non-lean unit, comma, it is fake shoes, comma, it is a real storage unit, though, it is a personal storage unit, actually. The owners let us use it for auctions if we please. Okay, so what, what I mean with that, Videsh, when it's a fake unit, it's not a real lean storage auction. When we go to websites like Storage Treasures, or when we go to a lean auction, we expect it to be a lean unit, which means that it went through the lean process, that it's somebody just not paying the bill, losing it or abandoning it. Not that some guy like you comes in and just sets up a unit, okay? So to me, that's not a real unit. My, most of my viewers, especially the ones that are buying for resale and stuff like this, they expect it to be a lean unit, not like a, show, a piece of showmanship. So here's a, people know that it's fake, but they also know they can make money off it. So they want it. Okay, Videsh, so you say people know that it's fake, so let's address that first part of the sentence, because the second part is going to make me mad in just a second, and that's going to go back to the American dream. We we'll look at your auction, private seller, SVS Variety Shop, Incorporated, and Incorporated, so when you assume he doesn't lose any money, shelves not included, 200 pairs of brand new sneakers, true statement, men's size, okay, colors and styles, hmm, no worse the statement that these are fake Jordans, and you know what? They have Nike logos on them. They have Jumpman logos right there. They're obviously Jordan. Anybody that's living knows that these show, shoes are Jordan, okay? If you, I mean, most older people probably wouldn't even know that these are Jordans, but anybody that would buy these knows that these are Jordan, okay? You say this, let me check something in the box because I don't remember if these say Nike or not. I do a lot of stuff, so I'm over it already. They do not say Nike, okay? But obviously, I think it's fair to say, I mean, you're showing the logos, okay? So if you say, you say that people know it's fake, so a true statement, your auction would have said, hey, you see the Jumpman logos, but these shoes are fake. They are not real Jumpmans. Know where you make that statement. You just assume that people know, okay? Which is misleading because unfortunately, there's a lot of people that try to invest the money or take their first savings because they think they know business now and they want to be smart about it. And they invest the money and they think they're buying something without doing research. So you, sir, you're wrong. They do not know for sure they're fake. A lot of people know they're fake, but a lot of people don't either. And that's why some idiot got stuck with $4,500 plus another 15%, well over $5,000, okay? So that's the first part of your sentence. Here's the sentence that makes me mad. Let's read this again. People know that it's that it's fake, but they also know that they can make a lot of, can make money off it, so they want it. Okay, remember about respecting America and learning the culture and learning the laws? That's a felony, Okay. You cannot sell counterfeit product. Um, if you really think that's legit, if anybody were to call Nike, and I'm not saying anybody do this, don't do it, you know, that's stupid. But if I would buy that from you, and I wouldn't have known at the time, I would give you two options. Give me my money back or I call Nike. You will have uh, you will have a, somebody stop by, especially if you have a physical address from the FBI or whoever covers that. Because selling illegal merchandise, I don't care how much money you can make of it, okay? We find guns in storage units every now and then. I can sell them illegally on the street for a lot more money than they're worth. But guess what? That's illegal. You can't do that, okay? Uh, I find drugs in units. You can't sell guns illegally. can't sell drugs illegally. I find uh, counterfeit merchandise. You know, I would never put it on something like that. You can't sell it. What are you doing? It's a felony. So you're putting that stuff out there on auctions and you say, you are clearly admitting that it's fake. You know it's fake, the customer's fake, but they can make money. You get the point here? It's a felony. It's illegal, no matter how you want to say it. Also, so now he's getting like really, you know, like he's making some strong points. Also, at 4.07, and I haven't, I read this one time a couple days ago, so now I'm reading it fresh because I want to have new reactions. Also, at 4.07, you said that they can kicked off, but they made it so people are aware that it is fake. Okay, again, um, show me where, I mean, tell me, give me a reply. Where do they know it's fake? Nowhere do you say it's fake. And when I say they get kicked off, if storage treasures really enforces their rules... If they see it, they should kick you off. I, I think they chose not. I don't know why they didn't kick you off. If Try making that same listing on eBay. Not only do they kick you off, they probably forward the information to the right authorities. 
So, uh, because what happens if you sell a bunch of these auctions through storage treasures, and let's say you sell tens of thousands of dollars worth of product to them that goes on the counterfeit market, the black market, well, once they crack down, storage treasures actually can get in trouble because they facilitate the sale of illegal products. That's why you see most big auction websites that in America, they will not let you do that stuff because... It's an American company. Now you will say, hey, I can go to Alibaba and everything is full of fakes. Yes, you can. It's also a Chinese auction website. It's not an American website. So um, different rules, different laws. And even there, there's lawsuits all the, all the time. Okay, let's continue. If they said it was real, but it was actually fake, then they can be kicked off. Look. You don't say it's fake. You don't say it's real. You try. I know. I, I know you think you're super smart by saying... 200 pairs of brand new sneakers, and they are brand new sneakers and they are 200 pairs, but with the pictures you're implying that you're selling Jordans, why are you showing the Jordan logos, you set certain styles, you know you're implying what it is, okay? So, uh, because, you know, I mean, you know, is, I mean, I, I don't even, it's like talking to a child right now, but it's okay. Uh, let me see, let me find my spot again. Then they can be kicked off. I guarantee you, if you want to, I'll do a conference call to Storage Treasures. I actually know the CEO of Storage Treasures. And if you want to, if you really think I'm an idiot, we'll videotape the whole thing. We'll have him look at the auction. And and you know what? I'm actually going to forward um, these two videos to Robert Chidi, which is the CEO of Storage Treasures. That's actually, it's actually another company name. And I guarantee you, when he sees that, his first response is going to be, yeah, that shouldn't be on our platform. That's a mistake because they get so many thousands of auctions. It just get missed. And by the way, guys, just no confusion. I love storage treasures. I buy a lot on there. And I know other people that have auction sites too, and they will say the same thing. So, but if, if you think I'm wrong, let's do a conference call. You know, I mean, I'm willing to back that up. 527, the pictures are bad quality because his phone quality is just bad overall. Just a coincidence. Yes, I'm sure that in today's age that you are going to take... Thousands of dollars worth of merchandise, but you do not have the time. You stage the whole thing. You set them up nice on the left. You set them up nice on the center. You set them up nice on the right. On the back, on the, in the medium, uh, everything is set up nice. You set up the rarer Jordans right up front, which we assume that the rest boxes are full of them. You make sure you get the Jumpman logos in there, but you do not have the time to take a couple of pictures with a halfway decent cell phone. Good story, bro. We believe you on that one, okay? I'm not even going to respond anymore. Anybody else can make their conclusion on that. 527. Okay, that's the one we just did. 618. It is part of the box, not a sticker. I don't know why that gold is on the box, but it is. It is because they're cheap ass counterfeit shoes that are garbage, and that's one of the things that gives it away why it's garbage. Nikes like Apple, they're going to bring you a super good quality product. There's a reason why tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people collect Nike shoes. So, because uh, they give a good product, everything is perfect from the boxing to the wrapping to the shoe to the stitching. Your product is a cheap garbage counterfeit product and that's why you have to stick us on there. Okay? As you can see, I get emotional when people try because like people that try to rip you off and BS you, they always try to spin the story. But no matter what you do, you know it, I know it, everybody knows it. It's fake, it's a felony. If you can show me where you can legally sell these, I apologize. Oh, by the way, I also had somebody email me and since there was no name as a Gmail account, I'm not saying it was the same person, but somebody actually emailed me and said, hey, by the way, in your Jordan video, just so you know, that could be slander. You could get sued for that. I'm like, great. I would love to see how you bring that into court and a judge that somebody's mentioning that you're selling fake shoes. So good luck with the lawsuit. Let me know when we get that. I'll get an FBI eyewitness in there or... <laughs> or something like that. I mean, you, 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 somebody. I'm not saying you, but somebody said they could sue me because for slandering, for people letting them know that you that fake products are being sold. So I guess I also could get slander if I say don't go to that area because the people are dealing drugs there, or don't go there because somebody's about to rob the bank. Hmm. Makes sense, dude. Makes a lot of sense. By the way, I get sued all the time. I've, you know, it's just part of being uh, on television and different things like that. It's just part. I've never had to pay out a dollar in a lawsuit, by the way. Uh, 537. Um, we just put the shoes on the floor that are on the shelves to show people what shoes look like, what the shoes look like. We do not intend to put any type of shoe in any way to make the storage look better. Yeah, you're selling shoes that you're calling sneakers, but your Jumpman logos are uh, turned. And then your first picture right away is a killer, a killer Jordan shoe with another Jumpman logo. Okay. Counterfeit products, dude. Good story. You're trying to make it look good. All you're doing is flipping counterfeit stuff. We don't can we see. Storage look better. All of this was a coincidence. Yeah, I'm sure it was really coincident. You put no thought behind it. It's just a pure coincidence. You're selling this counterfeit stuff. You're not thinking. You don't have a camera. Nothing is displayed. It's just all coincidence. Yeah. <sighs> uh. 
I have a lot of jokes I'm not even going to say. We just put the shoes down on the floor for display. Okay. All right, Videsh. Good story. Either way, no matter how you want to twist it, no matter what you want to say, whoever gave you $5,000 got ripped off. Whoever uh, spent all that money is just crazy. They're going to probably learn really hard. Um, they're probably not going to stay retailers for a long time. Another person sent an email message to, and they, well, actually, they sent it in the comments, and I think it was a legit user. He was like, what are you talking about? You still can make a profit on those. Probably you can make a little bit profit, but you're doing something completely illegal. Um, if law enforcement, if the right people are checked, they'll just confiscate all that stuff from you. Uh, if you put it on eBay, you lose your eBay account. You put it on Amazon, you lose your Amazon account. Put it on Macari, you probably will lose your Macari account. You put it on StockX, um, they'll charge you a bunch of money to authenticate them. Tell them that you're fake and you do that a few times. You probably will not be selling on there anymore. Um, pretty much anywhere where I can think of. You probably can get away with Facebook Marketplace. I don't know how much they, they um, enforce the rules there. but And then you sell it to somebody, tell them they're real. You probably going to have a problem. So uh, it's a ripoff. Oh, oh, here, right here. Actually, the next comment, John Friday's. I think he's a regular user. No, it's not a ripoff. What is this guy talking about? And I wrote back, big ripoff and a felony. And then he says, go on YouTube and look up UA sneakers reviews, which means unauthorized. There are tons of people selling them. Obviously, you don't want to make a business out of it, but he can move sne sneakers easily. Yes, and so you can move easily crack cocaine and speed and heroin. But if I find a bunch in a storage unit or so, I'm still not going to sell it. So... Um, I don't know what you're talking about. It's illegal to sell and the story. And, you know, he's selling them on a platform to somebody that probably doesn't know what they're doing. And it's just really bad for the community. Okay, so we have that. Let's look at another storage auction, storage treasures right now, which uh, is crazy high. And again, like, what do I tell you guys? Buy, buy the real storage units. Stay away from these non-lean units. These non-lean units and storage treasures on the different websites... These are just people ta selling you stuff that they cannot sell. And they always try to make it look pretty. And they, you know, it's kind of like, and they plan your creed factor because you're so greedy. They show you 500 com comics and they show you four that look decent. So you assume, oh, there's all this other good stuff in there. Even though it's, excuse me, even though it's leftover dealer inventory. Stay away from these units. This unit right now is at $5,500. Sorry. This unit right now is at fifty five hundred dollars plus fifteen percent. So, what's that? Sixty six thousand sixty two fifty right now. Let's look at the pictures here. Of course, we got a bunch of comics. Of course, there's gonna be some good comics laying up front here. Twenty five cents. That's not even that great. Some Lego figurines just sprinkled on top. You see some stereos right here. Panasonic, big deal. You see a Commodore Super Pet computer worth maybe three four hundred dollars max. A few little bit games. You see a Neo Geo right here. Um, you know, there's an American version, a Japanese version. I cannot tell which one it is offhand, but okay, a few hundred dollars. Jason Kidd figure, ten bucks. Kobe Bryant figure, if it's series one, fifty bucks. Let's look at some of these other pictures. You know, you see all these comics, and then Star Wars Episode One, Dark Horse, new SLEs for dollar ninety nine. A little bit of older stuff, but you can't really tell anything. And you see that these boxes at least appear to be full. Oh, even see right here. See how these comics are leaning back there? So that means the boxes are not full. Okay, probably 80%, but they're not full. Couple of concert posters, whatever that kiss thing is right there. And now remember, guys, you're not buying boxes and boxes of mystery. They, they, it's just stuff laid out. Everything is laid out. You see a bunch of records, which you don't know what it is. Some more comics, newer detective stuff. Good luck with that. Let's hear everything else. Let's see a couple more pictures. Beanie Baby, big deal. Statue, eh, whatever. I love you, Lucy doll. Pictures. I really would love to get the. I don't know what's what's this Rolling Stone sticky thing or some kind of something signed by an artist. Couple of old Barbies. I sell these old Icelandic Barbies and stuff like max twenty thirty dollars, but most of the time ten bucks in my store. So certain rare ones. These sports cards are complete garbage. The eighties nineties stuff. You know, when I say garbage, like $15 a box, they're nothing crazy. Remember, we're looking at a $5,000 unit here. Actually, $6,000 unit. This is a uh, Pashilo Arcade skill stop machine. So it's a, it's supposed to be some kind of slot machine. If it's the high-end ones that they remake, you can buy these for $400. Bucks. But I don't even think it's one of the high-end ones, to be honest. But okay, we'll just, we'll give it $400. Bucks. 
And I would love to have this person, these headliners. Good luck selling those. I have a whole bunch of those with some for like three, four bucks. If you watch my unboxing videos, I got hundreds of them. Actually, you know, I have a few in the unboxing videos, but check the $7,000 video. And I'm pretty sure I put it in video. Cables. <laughs> I don't think this person is going to pay. I think somebody's just bidding this person up. I'd be surprised if whoever's the high bidder that's going to pay. If they do, they're going to be all upset. And they're going to say, oh, Renee and these guys that do videos that shows how to make money. They're full of idiots. I took the step. I bought a $6,000 unit and I didn't make anything. I'm like, you didn't buy a $6,000 unit, guys. Collectible train watch. 30 bucks max, maybe. I might be high at that. These gold club miniatures from Rawlings. What, 10, 15 bucks. Jose Conseco photo, 5, 10 bucks. I mean, where the hell do you see $6,000 here? I'm still looking because I want to find an Alabama signed football with a total smudge signature. And even if it's a good signature, that kills it. Because if it's worth money, nobody wants to buy it that way. Let me see what we got here. Doctor Strange, 25 centers. Okay. Maybe five bucks a comic. Reggae albums. I should buy a unit just like this and then point out all the stuff that they're highlighting and then what the rest of the stuff looks like. So like, let's look at, you know, we saw Beastie Boy records. We saw um, Reggae records, which if it's all Reggae records, that could be good. But then what's actually inside. But I'm just not going to throw away $6,000 because I'm not that stupid. I like money too much. So what is somebody spending $6,000 on? If you're watching this channel by any chance and you buy this unit for $6,000... I would love to bring you on and talk to you. What are you actually, what's your thought process when you're going through this? And what's your thought process when you're going through this? And if you have some footage of you actually going through it. So let's see how many comics, because I already know what people are going to say. It's like, right, right, you don't know what you're talking about. We got about one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So let's just say 12 boxes of long boxes of comics at 250 comics east, east because most of these are backed and boarded. So we get about, let's just be, let's just say 3,000 comics. So people say, oh my God, Renee, even if they only bring a dollar, crappy comics, you know, most likely because that's a deal that this comics already been totally picked over. And crappy comics at a dollar move very slow. I li I'm in California and I get a dollar 99, but for like super good condition, not in condition like that. And they sell okay, but I have a store that gets like, you know, 100 people every day going through five to 700 over the weekends a day. And I'm in California. So if you buy this for a small town, they're not going to bring anything on eBay. Very little. You know, I, I have some people that uh, follow me that have comic book stores and they pick up these long boxes when they picked over with like below average stuff for 20 bucks a piece. I bought them for 20, 20 bucks a piece, sometimes even less. So... And that's, you know, even that's $3,000. So if you say everything else in the room is another $3,000, let's say it's another $4,000. So now you have $7,000 and you're paying right now $62.50. If you sell it online, I my calculation, anything I sell on, online costs me 20%. A lot of times it's lower, sometimes it's a little bit higher, but I say 20% just to be fair. And in one of my business lesson videos, I will talk about it, why you should calculate it that way. People hate it when I tell them that, but if you want to be a successful businessman in a secondhand game, Assume it costs you 20%, okay? So let's just say that we buy the unit for 6000 which is two fifty less than we already buy. And we can double our money. So now it's $12,000. We pay 20% in selling costs. And if you take it to the swap meet, yard sales, or store, you still have selling costs, okay? So we take off $2,400 and up. So that leaves us left over with $9,600 on a $6,200 investment if we sell every single piece. That's hard to work, but I highly doubt that's twelve thousand dollars in here. And you know it's already over sixty two fifty. So I don't know. This is a crazy unit, guys. If I can tell you something, if you learn one thing from this channel, if you don't want to get into business, it doesn't really matter. But if you can learn one thing from this channel, stay away from the non lean units. There's so many great units on here. I'll show you another one really quick. It is super high already. Somebody's obviously taking. Oh, that's not the one. Oh, did they take it off? I think they took it off. Shoot. Or maybe it just closed. There was one in Lake Tower that was like at $6,000. Um, I thought that was a great unit. I mean, it was really high. I thought it was high for the price. But uh, I thought it was a good gambling unit. Let's let's see what else is here. Oh, I like this unit. Look, that's only at $2,800 in Iowa. But look at the quality of the stuff in here. Number one, everything is wrapped really nice. 
And then the stuff that you see is like nice, a high-end quality. I don't see as many boxes. Look, look at the quality of this couch here. Look at the back stitching. I mean, that's money. Okay, so I bet you they paid like four or five thousand dollars for this couch. The one thing I don't like, I don't see many boxes in here. So, you know, would not without having a store is probably risky. But if this was in California, I'd buy this in a heartbeat. I'd pay four thousand dollars for it. Take a gamble, big deal. I wouldn't pay two thousand dollars for the setup unit. Those are real units. Here's San Jose storage. Um, what's this? This is great. This is a 10 by 25. So everything in there will not fit in a 24 foot uh, Penske truck, most likely. Fuji. This is this looks like a good brand of bike. Some sort of go kart back here. And look, it is packed. This these dollies right here, these are like 200 bucks new. Should be with the hard wheels. This is a nice outdoor, but it's box, but still at one time it's money. It's beat up now, but at one time they spent money for that. I don't know what this is. They stole the trash can. But there's a lot of stuff in there. This is like, eh, medium. This is a great swap meter unit. I was trying to find you guys a great unit on here. I would take a gamble on. What's this? Do we just... Oh, yeah, stay away from this stuff, guys. Restaurants, it's about to die. You're going to see so much restaurant equipment. Do not invest restaurant equipment unless you need it. And this right here. Oh, so Harley Davidson. Is that a real? So, see, the one thing I, I know very little about is motorcycles. I mean, I can tell if something looks a lot older, then I'll just buy it. But um, this looks like it's on a carriage, some kind of frame. But um, I don't like dealing with motors, and I don't like stuff with VIN numbers and stuff, because then you got to start dealing with the government, it becomes a pain in the butt. All right, guys, I don't know where we left off really quick. I had a little emergency. But um, there's one more unit here that was actually decent with the snap-on box, but that's gone too. I wonder if that got paid up last second, or maybe it's this one right here. See, I'd rather take chances on these. I'm not a huge tool buyer. But you got a welder right here, 70s Pepsi machine, and a big old snap-on box. And a bunch of boxes, and looks like more construction stuff in the back. Tires, not much value. You had boxes, you hope. I mean, if that's full of hand tools, you scored. If it's not, the box is still, you know, a couple thousand dollars, no problem. Three thousand if you want to hold on to it. I don't know what that is. But look, that unit is only at $2,500. It's still six days to go, so we have a long time to go. But I'd rather buy stuff like this than the stupid setup units. But people buy this stuff because they think, oh, look, it's easy, it's organized. All the stuff that's laid out here. Psst, I bet she's not even 20 boxes. It's probably not even 10 boxes, but that's just stupid. Like, so, there's another person that's not going to be unhappy. But at least that's legit merchandise. So this person is not, he's just laying the stuff out. People are dumb enough to buy it, I guess. You know, I guess they take advantage to say at least it's all legal merchandise. But whoever's buying this, it's not going to make a good investment. He's not getting ripped off because it's an auction and the bidders decide what it brings. It's just an undereducated bidder overpaying for stuff. But whoever buys this is going to be stuck with a lot of money for a while. All right, let's go take a look really quick. Let's see if there's any comments. Uh, I'm going to go YouTube. Studio. And then we're going to go to comments. Uh. <laughs> okay, so, okay, we do get the idiot comments. I gotta share an idiot comment view. Hey, Renee, why don't you ask Leslie about me? Remember when you went up to LA in April? I go up to LA all the time, but okay. Well, ask her about our little meet in Imperial Beach. I took real good care of her while you were gone all day. Buddy, contact me, Renee. I have pictures. Just for public info, she cheats all of him all the time. Okay, idiots. So, so Chris Van Heusen. So he wants to be popular. So let's look at him. See if that's even a real person. Doesn't have any content. It's funny, all these keyboard warriors. So this guy is so stupid. He just wants me to contact him. Let's see really quick. Facebook. People are such little men these days. I'm like, what happened to men? I don't think that's the same guy. Let's see. Huh? Guitar picture? Oh, I had to have kind of the same hair. Let's see, is he a guitar picture? No, that's not the same guy. I don't think so. 
So, but anyway, so obviously not a fake, but just sort of make you happy so you made it on video. Um, number one, her name is Casey, not Leslie. Number two, when I was in LA, LA uh, she was with me the whole time. Number three, she's never cheated on mine. Casey's actually a very good Christian woman. But hey, good luck with you. So see what happens now. We're going to hide you from the channel. And now you can leave a million comments and drive the interaction of the channel, but nobody will ever respond to you. Most of you prizing is delusional, okay? Chasing monsters, um... Okay, that's the Star Wars stuff. We paid forty three hundred dollars. Well, we sold ninety percent of it. It's just because you can't afford it doesn't make it uh, doesn't make it uh, delusional. Okay, two minutes. So this guy wrote Paul McTown. Too many comments to look through them all. But on the game controller, the reason they're so valuable packages that they have never been used. So the sticks and buttons are brand new. Also, game Q controllers are very popular in Super Smash Brothers competition. So that puts them in high demand. Gotta say, great to be able to watch you guys doing your thing again. Thanks, Paul McDonald's. Good advice. And yes, uh, we had, did have several people that sent us that messages for the Super Smash competitors. We put that controller on eBay for two hundred dollars, and it like literally sold immediately. I have another controller still under. Let's go take a look really quick what we have. And I, I think the WaveBird one, the one you were talking about here, will go to my eBay. See, we're just doing some chats. This is kind of fun, I think. Let me know if you guys like this part of the video. So here, these are all people that buy delusional stuff. 264 this months alone left feedback. And then because I don't know how to price stuff, so this guy that said that a minute ago, I don't know how to price stuff, I don't know what to do. That's because the last 31 days we did $44,000. Today we did eleven oh five. But you're right, I don't know what I'm doing, you know it much better. But you have to comment from like, you know, make-believe accounts where I pretty much share my information. I'm very transparent, but you're right, I don't know what I'm doing. $44,000, that's probably nothing to you. Uh, so what were we looking up? We were looking up... Uh, the controller. Let's just type this in. So enter value, item title. I don't know what's left. Control official genu. Okay, so that's the OEM. So that's the regular one. Let's look up the other. Let's go look on the shipped and sold. So this one we still have at 250. I kind of put it in the high end, but it's not available. So I can always go down and don't have to go high. This listing right here, somebody actually left me. Ah, I'm not going to say that. He was upset with the price, so he like, sent me messages. It's like, hey, you need to sell it for this. I'm like, no, I don't. They sell slowly, but they bring that kind of money. I'm in no hurry. Wave bird. Just, nope. Paid and shipped orders. Oh, by username. That's why we want by item title. There we go. So just so I don't look like an idiot. This thing literally was listed for less than 24 hours. It sold for $199. Actually, could have gotten a little bit more, but the pa packaging was a little bit rough. So it was like all yellowed and stuff. But still, Spectre, 315 feedback. I won't put the guy's name on there. Somebody said I shouldn't show names, so I try not to show names. But um, sometimes they pop up, but I don't think people really care. But yeah, that sold for $200 pretty much immediately. All right, so let's read another one. Uh, thank you, Paul McDonald. Good comment. But yes, several people pointed out. This guy wrote Mad Hunter. Thanks, Diego. Yes, we always looking for stuff. This is satisfying ASF. I know what that stands for, but I can't say it to watch. Thank you, Nani Lens. I'm glad you like it. Um, so we filmed a whole bunch of stuff right now. I also got a CGC video coming too. Love you guys. Keep it up. Thank you. Love you too. Thank you for the support. Would you sell the Marvel Selects and Legends in a lot? We don't sell them in a lot. We just sell them individual. Sorry. I mean, I like many videos. If you, if you watch it, um, if you watch it, then you'll see that uh, we try to get the slow dime instead of the fast nickel. Okay, this guy's using a big word just because I don't speak English. But let's all learn it to get it. Ecregious price. I'm sure he's saying that he thinks it's too expensive. A lot of times when people send me... Uh, Message saying it should only be 10 bucks. I'm like, okay, how many have for sale? I'll buy them. Outstanding, bad, shocking, outstandingly bad. Uh, okay, so I refer to you and I would love to see your eBay number. So post your pictures with your actual username. Somebody tried to post pictures one time with just a close up of a number $44,000 to last 31 days. But thank you for the lessons. I appreciate it. Oh my god, Casey. See, I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> 
how much for the WW fact figures? Um, did, we're gonna put a whole bunch on eBay. Most of the ones at the store are like 10, 15. We shot a video today. We got like hundreds of them loose. You have Rolex, sir. I don't know what that means because we didn't find a Rolex, but thank you. I appreciate it. Then Master Pete wrote, I like your taste in lockers. When I watch Storage Wars, I always said it would be I would bid on that locker and buy those and you end up buying them or show interest in ones I liked. If I was into buying lockers, we would have the same in lockers. I love toys and antiques collectibles. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Master Pete. Really appreciate that. So I try to go for bride of ownership, clean lockers. I like full packed lockers. I don't like lockers I can walk around in unless I really see stuff. Pedro wrote, La Des Los Hot Wheels. I don't know, but we just filmed the Hot Wheel video today. Uh, Hola, Rene. Cuanto por la caja que abres el, el minuto? Si es por favor. Um, I'm assuming you're asking how much is a box. Uh, I don't sell them by the box. We sell them individually. But thank you for watching, Pedro Vargas. Host, uh, jo <laughs> I almost said that in Spanish. Uh, Joseph Bar Barbera writes, Dream Collection's gonna take forever to bag and board them all. Yes, uh, I've bought 100,000 comics. We barely started, but kind of our plan right now is and it keeps on getting extended because everything that's going on, I want to get my store closed. When that store is closed, we're going to go full-time eBay in like a five, at least a 5,000 square feet warehouse and just list, list, list. A lot of these comics, we're just going to do huge lots. Stephen Hunter or Steve Hunter wrote, Outstanding. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it. Uh, Tyler Winchell writes, how do you do it? He's referring to the $100,000 profit video. I will shoot a video in this form, and I'm waiting for a little bit better lighting to come in. And to be honest, guys, I've just been super busy. Like, with everything that's going on, even with some of the protesting, which luckily in our city it ended up being peaceful, which I applaud everybody there. But we actually had to empty out a bunch of stuff in the store because we thought it might get looted or set on fire. But luckily the protesters were good, so that was good. Move on to the Nest Steel fella. That don't make sense to me, but okay. Jeff Sweeney says you spend more money on Burger King, fat boy. Um, I don't spend five thousand dollars on Burger King. Actually, I'm gonna delete you because you're an ass. Remove, and then you're gonna get hidden from the channel. Um, I don't spend that much money on Burger King. Actually, I don't really like Burger King, but um, thanks for the comment. It was very creative. Put a lot of thought into that. Jeff Bainon, you want to guys read the ones that are helpful for review? Those are usually the stupid people. Let's see. Let's see what's helpful for review. Somebody's advertising. Oh, damn. I'm, I didn't mean to delete that. I was actually Giggles. She sent me a different video. She's one of our members. Oops, sorry, Giggles. I accidentally deleted your thing. Resend it. Just so used to being spammed there. Um, this guy said, so there's a follow-up. He says, we believe there's $1.2 million in action figures. I don't think it's one one point five or $2 million, but I think it's probably 250000 maybe 500000 Hey, Renee, if you come across any of the... Uh, Dolls, okay, that's just because somebody's emails in there. Okay, the rest is nothing. Let's see what we have in spam. Thanks for information. Sometimes weird stuff gets um sometimes weird stuff just gets like flagged by YouTube. But here let's read some more comics we haven't replied to. We didn't reply to any of this. Stephen Armstrong is funny. Big word and it's too much. I don't know what to say, Steve. I sell this stuff all day long. But if you think they should be much cheaper, send me an email. What do you have for sale? I'll buy it from you. I'll buy as many toys as I can. Uh, let's just go down here. Shh. Sir, you're not combining shipping. People would buy more to fill a box and just pay one shipping price. Okay, let's try this again. People always have stuff. It's amazing. So this guy just bought. Let's see what our ads say. This is a Warren Sap. Oh, we just saw Warren Sap. We got... So no, we gave a disc. We gave it. So we did ten percent off. It was asking forty. The person paid thirty five ninety nine. Cool. He just must have sold eleven oh three. Well, about an hour ago. Didn't see that yet. Now the Star Wars toy sold for eighty five dollars. But let's see what it says in our shipping. Because all you have to do is read the ad. If you buy several items, we can combine shipping. I don't know what else to say, guys. Sorry, Jeff. My dad just bought these for 180 Just get them from Goat. Maybe he's referring to the shoes in the picture, okay? Mark Hewitt, and I think he commented with us before. He says, Star Wars was my childhood and currently I'm 45 years old. It's still my life, LOL. Well, Mark, you're... Actually, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Star Wars is my life too. I love Star Wars. I have like the biggest weakness for Star Wars. If, I ever got... if you guys ever see me in an episode for Hoarders, it'll probably be for like Star Wars toys. 
It's um, it is sad. It is very sad. Um, thanks for the comment, Mark. Love the comment. On the house wrote jealousy is the mother of haters. Yes, haters will hate, and they're just jealous. It's kind of stupid, but because really all I want to do is um, all I really want to do is share and really give the opportunity to people. Just say hey, that's one ways to make money. Okay, so this is a big one. Commonwealth RS. Let me see. I'm gonna why you wrote two big ones. Let's do go with big ones. Bo, okay, so he's referring to the eBay because a lot of people were hating, saying that all my both speakers are all bad and stuff like this because they've been in storage forever, but we sold like 90% of them. They were all good. Uh, both speakers almost always work and they always sell. Anyone who says otherwise does not know much about the audio equipment. Both builds their audio equipment to last, especially in any products that were built prior to 1994. As populous as they are, I would argue that most people still have no idea just how superior they virtually are any other brand. Smart haul on your part. Create video, man. I'm always looking for other fellow top sellers to watch and get ideas from. Cool, Commonwealth. Welcome to the channel. I think that's the first time you commented. Welcome to the channel. And you're right. Both makes a killer product. Uh, I also wanted to say that you nailed it regarding cheap sales and cheap customs. I get more headaches and spend more time dealing with purchases of $20 with free shipping items than I do with my high-end items. 90% of my high is high-end multi-hundred dollar audio related equipment. If I ever have yet ex ever experienced a problem with anybody that purchased an item costing over 500 that isn't to say that's never been an issue with an expensive product, just that the custom is always reasonable and always gives me a genuine opportunity to fix the issue. I like your style. Very honest, transparent, it's real. Keep it up, man. Serious sellers just want the facts, what you give, not the fluff, what most YouTube wrestlers give. Commonwealth RS, hey, thank you. Cool comment. Yeah, so I, I mean, I just keep it real. I mean, I just say what it is, you know, and uh, you're right. I mean, so if you guys haven't seen that video, it's the eBay video, and I talk about... um be trying to get to uh, go after the cheapest customers you're just going after problems basically i used to watch you in the history channel on storage was happy to see you here on youtube big love from greece what's up greece one of the countries i really want to go see it looks like you know along the ocean that looks really nice well, i guess it's the adriatic sea right could be wrong but somewhere there mediterranean and that was the Wang Monster. This is kind of cool. Let me know if you guys like it. You're reading comments with me. Like, all these comments, I'm really reading with you guys for the first time. You see, those are the ones I haven't responded to yet. So I'm going to start doing this more often, I think. Should have continued buying sofas and chairs if you haven't any clue. You ha if you haven't got a clue about sneakers, just pass. Um, okay, videos, you got to pay attention to videos. The sofas and chairs is a big video that my friends bought. I clearly say I didn't buy them. I wish I was being part of the deal. I offered them money. That literally happened the same day we bought the Horda House, which I did okay on. The comic book Horda House, you can watch the videos. And I didn't buy that deal, but I made a video about the deal. And number two, if you watch this whole video and you listen about the Jordans, I didn't buy the Jordans either. Somebody else bought it. I just made a comment on it. But you got to you gotta pay attention, guys. Before you speak, just watch. Pay attention. It's not that hard. Booby fed. That's ignorant, but okay. Uh, looking at this from Double Island, what a huge score. Thank you. Appreciate it. John Terrell. Dave Cargill wrote, you can't find the Lego figures because the figures are available in mass production. It's so easy to redo display. Are available. You can't find... I don't know. Okay. God, I'm bored now. What do you post to friends? We do ship to friends, but we use the eBay global shipping program. Are you telling these figures to convince yourself or to try to brainwash your followers? You don't really know Star Wars. Do you? You're not even reading the names correctly. God, what an arse. Hmm. So one comment you tell me I'm ass, but then you ask me if I want to ship something to you. <laughs> I will not ship to you. And number two, uh, okay, whatever. I can see from the first two lots that you have paid far too much for that stock and figures you're pulling out there. They, out of the air, or in fact, of the air. Dear, oh dear, what a dreamer. Okay, Dave, if you say so. I got a 7,000 square feet store in San Diego, California. Maybe the prices are different in um, France, but I sell stuff like... Uh, crazy and because you curse in the comments and you're being rude we're just gonna hide you good luck commenting you'll never get a response from me okay dan chago wrote you the man love your relationship with your daughter yes my daughter's super awesome lucky about 10 quid so you sell millennium falcons for 10 quid and why is it 10 quid i thought you were in france now quid is not a british thing and if you send millennium falcons for 10 dollars so send them to me the Millennium is 99 pounds, so wrong there. Well, I sold every one for 300, so ship them to me for 99. 
I'll take as many as you got, by the way. Just remember, it's the same one with the figures on top attached, which was a Costco exclusive. I don't even think you can get those in France unless they had a big department store over there that had an exclusive. But in America, it was a Costco exclusive. But at 100 bucks, I'll take up to 100 units cash, $10,000. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll take up to 500 units cash, $50,000. Let me know where. God. Stupid comments. Looking at this from Dublin, Ireland. What's up, Ireland? So you guys, first time again, this channel is real. I'm reading this channel. This is just funny. I'm always hoping, uh, I'm sorry. I'm always hoping that we get good constructive comments. And we do a lot. But so when we do a fresh video, the first comments are usually pretty good. But then later on, we get the haters. Rene, my dad and I watch you in storage was all the time. We love your personality and loved you in the show. I just found your channel. Love it. Keep, keep it up, pal. And that's from No Noobs Allowed. Uh, thank you. I'm glad that you guys watch the channel. And what makes me even happier is that you should watch it with your dad. And that's really cool because you get to do something together. So that's awesome. Johnny Dallas wrote, sorry, Meth Heads. I'm a big fan. He's referring to when we got robbed. Yeah, most likely Meth Heads. You know, I was got really mad in the video, but um, I pray for them. Hopefully they find a way, but I still get mad. But I'm a, I'm a strong believer. Some people get, got offended at a said that I carry a gun when I work late. I'm like, I do. What do you want me to say? You know, uh, I have a gun next to my office. I have a gun in my office, in my store. I have... I have guns. I defend my property. You know, I have cash on me sometimes. I have property. Sometimes I work at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning in an industrial zone when nobody else is there. I pretty much have a gun strapped to me at that point. Um, it's the truth. You know, I'm being transparent. So if you come to rob me at 3 o'clock in the morning, that's, that's a bad decision because I'm going to defend my life because just like the other user, I love my daughter and I want to be there to share times with her and not to have you take advantage of me. So it's up to you. I never want to hurt somebody. I hate violence. I hope I never have to use it. But trust me, if you come in my building, you attack me, you're trying to rob me, and it's between you and me, most of my guns are 45s. I have some 9mm stuff too, and I have shotguns, which I don't carry on me. But I have guns, I like guns, and I defend myself. That's it. If that offends you, if that offends anybody else, that's just that's just is what it is. Because, I mean, look at that earlier. We talked about. It. I don't want to talk about this, but that seventy-seven year old police chief, he was trying to stop somebody. He was trying to make people be good, and this kid shot him over television. Zero f's given over television. Seventy-seven year old uh, African American. His first picture. He showed, started at security guard. He went all the way to the chief of police. An honorable, good, hardworking. Dad, grandfather, husband. And he got shot over freaking TV. I did, you know, I don't I can't even talk about it because it's it's crazy. Crazy. But yeah, I defend myself, so. Mm. I need that Indiana Jones Kermit. Yeah, I know. That's pretty cool. I, I wonder where I put it. That's not Jim's Brown rookie. Sorry, I'm not perfect. We were guessing. See Germans. Unpack it all. So this guy wrote, Deuce Loud, I can't believe you literally ignored that Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Hawkeye 1953. That figure is worth some money. Or oh, that 1953 is the timestamp time on the video. Um, yeah, you know what? We're going through so much stuff and I'm trying to do a video and I'm also thinking about everything else as we're doing the video. I don't check everything right there as we're doing the video. But um, I tell you one thing is we do check the stuff as it comes in. So before we price it, we check it on eBay. We use the scanning tool. We check everything. Uh, I think that's enough. Until, unless you guys tell me you really like it. Where do you sell the 3, 3.75 inch Star Wars figures and how much? So we sell a lot in our store. Most of them start around 10 bucks. Um, some of the common ones are 5 bucks. But most of the stuff that we've seen is unboxing. is the better series, the less made series. We get 10, 15, 20, 30 bucks. We just had a whole bunch of Boba Fett's we were getting 30 bucks for. Uh, the fan choice. Django Fats, we had Princess Leia, she was going for like 20 bucks. So we try to beat the eBay prices. If it's better, sometimes we'll just put it on eBay. And we're going to start to finish this off. It's kind of hard to watch the comics book with Casey looking so sexy. You're a lucky man, you better get it. <laughs> yes, I'm a lucky man, we'll leave it at that. Sells poorly here, most furniture does. Yes, furniture right now is slow. It's going to get even slower with all the people losing the houses. Um... Okay, and that's the respond from the guy three three days ago we read earlier. Anyway, guys, I think we leave it at that. Leave me comments. Let me know if you like it that I read comments with you. So, uh, and I hope you get some info on the Jordans. And guys, do me a favor. Don't buy non-lean units. It's stupid. Don't buy that. So, anyway, we're going to go back. Enjoy this video. And uh, 
this should be uploading on Thursday. Actually, it's today Thursday? No, yeah, no, it should be uploading on Thursday. And uh, either Saturday or Sunday, we're going to have another toy unboxing video. Thank you.